Dr. Albert Chow, Vice President, Teaching and Learning. Miss Christine Chow, Vice President, Administration and Secretary. Professor Mary Yord, Dean of Arts. Professors, Class of 2020, good afternoon. Before we begin, please be kindly reminded to always wear a mask on campus. My name is Ethan Wong, a year four student in the Department of English Language and Literature, and I shall be your MC today. Dear graduates, it has been a long time since your last lesson, and welcome back to HKBU. We are delighted to meet you on campus again. It is a joyous moment, for we are here to congratulate you on your graduation and to celebrate a new chapter in your life. May I begin by inviting Professor Matty Yort, Dean of Arts, to say a few welcoming words. Dear graduates, dear colleagues, dear everyone, it is with great joy that I welcome you to this special Faculty of Arts celebration in honour of our graduates of 2020. COVID-19 has taught us to take absolutely nothing for granted, not even something as simple as being in each other's presence. Yet, we are embodied beings and social beings whose thriving depends to a significant degree on actual as compared to virtual co-presence. Cornelius Castoridis, a wonderful Greek philosopher who spent many years in Paris, taught us in his books on the social imaginary to distinguish between chronological time, the time of habitual activities carried out with a banal sense of repetition, and chirotic time, the time of significant moments, once charged with meaning, with purpose, with hope and anticipation, and in the present context, with a heightened sense of community. That we can be together today here in AC Hall is truly a gift. For a celebration of our graduates' achievements belongs, of course, in the sphere of chirotic time, of socially significant time. As I see it, this means that it belongs in the sphere of full-blown, face-to-face co-presence. Dear graduates, you have already heard me speak to you on the university's online commencement website about how the challenges of the last many, many months have created a context in which the strengths, values, and virtues of you, our graduates, but also our university and our larger HKBU family could emerge with exceptional clarity. I will not repeat these points, especially since this earlier speech exists in a recorded format that is available to you all and thus also to your friends and families. Today, I'd like to thank our absolutely awesome performers, both students and colleagues, our valedictorians, all of them, our heads and representatives from our departments, our wonderful student MC, the staff of AC Hall, and our student ushers for coming together with such enthusiasm and such great commitment not to mention so speedily, to help the faculty mount this celebration of you, our graduates. My colleagues in the Arts Faculty Office have worked very hard and with a lot of joy to make it all happen, and we owe them heartfelt thanks. I'd also like to thank our President, who will join us towards the end of this session, um, and also uh, Vice President Christine Chow and Vice President Albert Chow for being here today. I know that these university leaders are here not on account of some shallow and banal sense of duty, but because they genuinely believe that the achievements of our graduates deserve to be fully and properly acknowledged and celebrated. Dear graduates, as liberal arts graduates of a university that lives and breathes positive, values-based education, we all know that you have the skills and attitudes needed to do well in life, and the courage to deal effectively with the challenges you might face. We are very proud of you. We hope that you will remember your time at HKBU with great fondness and that your lasting connection to the HKBU community will always be a source of considerable strength. Let us please hear from you. 
Let us please see you from time to time. We will always be eager to hear your news, just as we will always be happy to provide support if we can. My heartfelt congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Yort. Yeah, we are very proud of you. Today, you feel proud of HKBU. Tomorrow, HKBU will be proud of you. Professors of each department are also warmly welcome to share a few words and to offer blessings to our graduates. May I first invite Professor Lu Ming Tong, Head of the Department of Chinese Language and Literature, to offer a few remarks. Ta 得到變的話,我們就可以行得通,通的話我們就會找到解決問題的方法。上我的禮記課堂的時候 我手上還有很多機會,同時我們投的時候,大家見不見到,我是抬高頭,挺起胸,我不會跟任何人說話的,代表了我們做任何的事情,我們都要精神要專一,我們要有健康的體魄,這樣才可以順利完成。Thank you, Professor Law. Well, we now have Dr. John Wakefield from the Department of English, Language and Literature to share a few words. Congratulations, you did it. Graduating from university is an impressive accomplishment, but you have to keep in mind that this is not the end, it's just the beginning. You have to build on some of the things that you've learned here at BU. Now I know this sounds like a cliche, but good language skills and critical thinking really are essential for success. People re uh, react positively to good, knowledgeable communicators. Not only will it open doors for you, but being a good, knowledgeable communicator will make you a more interesting person to be around. And this will give you a competitive advantage over others who might look just as good on paper. So take the skills that you were taught here at BU to the next level. Read widely and, of course, critically. You've learned how to learn. Now you can go on and engage in a life of self-education. Well, you might be thinking, well, but the world is a terrible place. How can I succeed when everything is so bad politically, economically, socially, and not just here in Hong Kong, but all over the world? And now we have a pandemic on top of all that. Well, I certainly won't lie to you and tell you that everything is fine and there's, that you should stop complaining. And I won't tell you that as long as you work hard, you're gonna end up just like Bill Gates. But what I will tell you is that things will get better. I truly believe this, because they always do. And if you don't believe me, read the history books. And when things do get better, 
People who are more skilled and knowledgeable will come out ahead. So keep improving yourself day by day, little by little. And then 10 years from now, you'll be far ahead of those who don't. Now, I'll be surprised if any of you outdo Bill Gates, but I won't be surprised if many of you outdo me, whatever paths you choose. I once had a job washing dishes. I even worked on a pig farm. I didn't get my BA until I was 26. I didn't get my MA until I was 43. So you've got time to do whatever you're going to do, wherever in the world you do it. But you don't have time to waste. So if you work steadily to improve yourself all along the way, then you will succeed. I'm proud of all of you and look forward to hearing your stories. Thank you, Dr. John Wakefield. Time is of great importance for our youngsters. Life is not stuck in the past tense, but more focused on the future tense. Now I would like to invite Professor Lo Kwai Shen, Head of Department of Humanities and Creative Writing for the next sharing. Professor Lo, please. Dr. Chao, Ms. Chao, Professor Yu. Congratulations well, to the graduates of 2020. For the graduates of the Department of Humanities and Creative Writing, commencement, though this one is not exactly a formal one, is a time and occasion every year to have a union of head and heart. What I mean by head is the metaphor of the critical theory and training our humanities and LCS students have received over the years. Heart refers to the emotions and affects usually associated with creative writing education our writing students have been cultivated. It does not have to be a rigid difference, of course. Creative writing is imagined as an emulation of our hearts, whereas critical writing is vigorous product of the brain. If our heart is disoriented and rebellious, the brain inside us uses its intellect and wisdom to calm and guide us as well as to find a reasonable direction. But we also need dreams and desires as driving force to bring changes, to make a difference, and to transform the world. In deep creative writing and critical theory, heart and head are more complementary to each other than being in opposition. Our graduates all grow up with their head and heart to become a fully integrated person. In face of all the challenges and difficulties ahead, you need to rely on your head to stay cool, to make rational judgment, to expose falsity, to formulate knowledge, and to find truth. But you also need your heart to work up your courage, to remain positive, to insist on hope, and to imagine a better future. Critical and creative, head and heart, they are never separate. If you find they are, just imagine you are watching a magician sawing a man in the box in half and then putting the cut-off cut, cut parts back together. The truth is that the body is never chopped up. It is only an illusion. So there never is a separation between the creative and the critical, heart and head. As the head of the department, not the heart of the department, sorry. I sincerely wish you with all my heart, all the best and good luck for your future. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Law. May I now invite Dr. Ellen John, Head of the Department of Religion and Philosophy, for her sharing. Okay, dear students of class 2020, congratulations and bravo, you have made it. We are very, very proud of you. I hope HKBU has met your expectations. What you have received from BU is more than a degree certificate, which may be a ticket for you to lead the good life you have envisioned. I would like you to think of it as a ticket to start a new journey with a bigger dream 
and the bigger ambition. As we know, Hong Kong has been transformed tremendously in past few years, and you have witnessed its transformation. Dear students, please never give up and never lose hope. Hong Kong will always be a beautiful city because we've got young people like you. Be bold, be courageous, and be your best. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. As we say in Chinese, 如果机会不来敲门, 那么就为自己 for students from the Department of Religion and Philosophy, thank you for placing your trust and your confidence in us. It's my great privilege to know you, to think about all you have achieved, and to be with you on your graduation day. Again, congratulations and best wishes for your next adventure. Students, please do not forget, BU is and will always be your home. Come back to visit us when you've got time. 同学们不要忘了,金辉大学永远是你的家,长福家看看. Thank you. Thank you all for coming back home today. Then, Professor Ho Wai Tong, Associate Head of the Department of Music, is now warmly invited to share a few words with us. Professor Ho, please. Many congratulations to the graduate class of 2020. This commencement is designed to mark the end of one phase of the life and the beginning of the next. Representing the next generation of music performers, composers, and teachers, your talents will shape the future of all kinds of music, from classical to pop, rap, hip hop, and beyond. Because we love music, and we enjoy listening to music every day. I like to think that music can change lives. What is quite right is music helps shape us physically and mentally. Music allows people of various social, geographical, and cultural backgrounds to come together and feel its sensations. No matter what you do or where you do it, people enjoy music and it brings them together. We need to educate people on the benefits of music education and the many skills it can give today's generation. It is so good to see that you are pursuing a career in teaching music or in the music business. Chasing a dream requires effort, passion, and hard work. Keep it up and continue to strive. If we fail at some point in our music careers, failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Whatever you do and wherever you go, never stop learning, exploring, and challenging yourself to be your best and to, to contribute in some way. I wish you years of joy, years of friendship, and successful lives. Good luck to all of you. Okay, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ho. Indeed, life is like music. There are verses where you start to build up the tension, and there are chords where you find the catharsis. Last but not least, Dr. Robert Nita, head of the Department of Translation, Interpreting, and Intercultural Studies will share a few words with us. Uh, graduates of the 2020 graduating cohort, uh, on behalf of the Department of Translation, Interpreting, and Intercultural Studies, let me express my warmest congratulations to you all on this wonderful occasion of your graduation. Uh, as others today have already commented, these have been difficult years. And the fact that you have got here, in spite of all those difficulties, makes your achievements extra special. Well, as head of department, I would like to say a special word of congratulations 
uh, and thanks to our translation graduates, some of them are over here. Uh, your amazing uh, commitment, uh, your dedication, and your hard work have not only ensured your own success, but have helped make our department the success it is today. Your journey, your transition, dare I even say your translation from students to graduates, from the university to the world beyond, in a sense mirrors our own journey as a department. For when most of you entered, we were still the translation program. And now you graduate from the Department of Translation, Interpreting and Intercultural Studies. A much longer name, but we love it. The 19th century scholar Yen Fu famously has three criteria for translation, which all translation students should know. Uh, he said that translations should be xin, da, and ya. And in English, those are often translated, those terms, as faithful, expressive, and elegant. So as you go out into the future, whatever you'll be doing, and whatever awaits you, let those principles guide you too in your journey. Be faithful to your principles, your beliefs, and of course those who love and nurture you. Be expressive, let your voice be heard, make your opinions matter, cut through the communication barriers and make a difference. Be elegant, do it all with style and grace. Congratulations again, may all go well with you on the next stage of your journey. Thank you. Yes, over the past four years, you may find man your mentors as your friends, also your friends as your mentors. Now, may we invite the class of the Lidictorians of 2020 to share their graduation speeches with us. First, we have Ms. Chan Hui Kei from the Department of Chinese Language and Literature. Please, welcome. Vice President, Dean of Arts, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chen Hai Kei, a graduate of the program of Bachelor of Arts in Chinese Language and Literature this year. It is my honor to speak on behalf of the graduates present in the audience. I believe each of us has joy and mixed the feelings on graduating in 2020, a challenging year. It was not our choice to choose the size of the rocks that hit our boat in the river of time. However, we made the most out of the challenges and finally reached this dream milestone of graduation. I would like to thank our teachers especially for giving us encouragement and inspiration in tackling problems. This year, through rich online learning experience, we have enriched lifelong skills that will be useful when we strive to move forward to our bright future, like building our own castle. By that, I believe every one of us would like to express gratefulness to our families that helped to shape the castle. First, our biological family, which provides all kinds of help, give us time and space to figure out who we are and who we would like to be. Thank you for being the solid foundation that we could build our own castle on. Second, our non-biological family formed in the university. Beginning with shy greetings and ice breaking games in the orientation camps, we slowly build up the irreplaceable friendship that allows deep conversation carrying on from dusk till dawn. Friends, thank you for making university life extra remarkable. All the laughters we shared and mistakes we made would be the most stunning details crafted on the ceiling of our castle. Most of us regarded HKBU as our second home as we spent most of the days and many nights here, especially in the library before the pandemic. The university granted us opportunities to discover academic interests, to broaden our horizon through studying overseas, to gain practical experience from internship and more importantly, to provide space that allows knowledge to be gained and critical thinking to be practiced. HKBU, thank you for showing us the face of the real world and grounded our design of the castle back to earth and not be unrealistic. On this graduation day, I wish all fellow graduates promising future. It doesn't matter whether we are sailing across the sea, 
hunting treasures down the bayou, or fighting an evil dragon in the forest. May we all remember that we are together underneath the same starry sky. So let us bravely continue our journey and reach new heights. Thank you and congratulations. Next, I will invite Mr. Lo Hao Wen from the Department of Humanities and Creative Writing. Um, Vice President, Dean of Arts, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lo Hao Wen Martin, a graduate of the program of Bachelor of Arts in Creative and Professional Writing this year. It is my honor to speak on behalf of the graduates present in the audience. We have gone through an uneasy year. We are now in between the transition of our lives from university to society. However, under the pandemic and social unrest, we felt like being thrown into a desert. Um, it is undeniable that no single formula or um, a way of success that suits everyone. And um, we are free to try, but also free to fail. It is also very possible that we will face obstacles and has to take detours or alternatives, uh, making hard decisions between our dreams and compromising to the realities. We may feel lost, anxious, melancholic about our future. However, uh, I still believe that the past four years was the most memorable and uh, valuable time that, uh, to treasure, not because of the academic degree we strive in our studies, nor because the uh, various experience we explore in different activities. It is because we are given the environment to frame the world a different place. And some days when you feel that life is repetitive or dull, or the world is hopeless, please remember, and you can look back on one interesting, interesting lecture, interactive um, society or whole activities caring and counseling lecturers and fellow classmates. It is a sense of hope that in this family that um, we can imagine life or world can be different. We could um, overcome whatever challenge ahead because we are taught to be creative, critical and caring. The conviction that we built in our university um, experience have become um, what really matters to us in our lives and could bring positive influence to each other. Last but not least, as Russian poet uh, Joseph Brodsky said, as long as you still have your skin, coat, cloak, and limbs, you are not yet defeated, whatever the odds are. Thank you. Miss Fong Pei Han, 2020 graduate from the Department of Translation, Interpreting, and Intercultural Studies. Would you like to come on stage for the next year? Vice President, Dean of Arts, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Claire. I'm one of the graduates of the program of Bachelor of Arts in Translation. It's my honor to speak on behalf of the graduates present in the audience. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our dear and respected teachers for the following five things. Thank you for passing on your years of knowledge and experience to us. Thank you for opening up our eyes to see that translation is much more than just Google Translate or a skill set we are going to need at work. Thank you for showing us how to appreciate the art, the beauty, and the philosophy embedded in every piece of work. Thank you for shaping us into who we are today. And last but not least, among these five things, one thing that we are the most grateful for is teaching us not to have a dream. People like to say that they have dreams, big dreams, great dreams of making a difference in their lives, dreams of improving a society, dreams of changing the world. But no, we don't do it here. We don't have dreams, we have goals. We are taught to stay awake to make great accomplishments. I've heard a lot of people saying that the pandemic or the year of 2020 is giving them a hard time. They say so probably because they have never taken any translation courses here at HABU. In almost every semester, I could hear my classmates joking about things such as, 
If we can survive this semester, we can go through anything in life. And now that I think about it, it's probably true. We must thank our teachers for setting high and uncompromising standards to encourage, to encourage us to learn, to grow, and to do anything we need to do to live up to the standards. And today, I'm very proud to say that we are not just another batch of graduates. We are survivors, and survivors are unstoppable. Once again, congratulations. And I know that every one of us will have a very bright future. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. A wonderful speech. Dr. Christopher Nolan used to say, do not chase your dreams, but live in reality and chase your goals. Our last class valedictorian, Ms. Liu Yi Ling from the Department of Religion and Philosophy, is now in Berlin. Though she could not join, in, join us in person, she had recorded her remarks for us. Mr. President, Dean of Arts, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I am Liu Yi Ling, a graduate of the program of Bachelor of Arts in Religion, Philosophy and Ethics this year. It is my honor to speak on behalf of the graduates present in the audience. First of all, I congratulate all my fellow students from art faculty, including myself, that we successfully finished our study and went through these challenging two years. Congratulations. Secondly, I want to express my gratitude to HKBU as well as Department of Religion and Philosophy. I am very thankful for having this rich and colorful four-year experience through which I have become stronger, more independent, and more confident. I also want to thank my department for providing me with not only friendly involvement, but also with sufficient knowledge so that I could dive in the philosophy sea as deep as possible and thus find the direction of my future study. I especially want to thank my supervisor, Professor Pankhurst, who lightened up the lamps on the sides of my study path. With his help, I have confirmed the long-term research topic in which I am very interested. Also, it was him who always encouraged me. Therefore, thank you, Professor Pankhurst. Because of you, I am now able to continue the exploration in the field of philosophy at Free University of Berlin in Germany, the motherland of Immanuel Kant. Ultimate for Chinese, a season producing homesickness. But for me, this homesickness gives me more the feeling of gratitude rather than loneliness. I am very thankful for my family's trust and support so that I could start a new phase of my life in my dreamy university. Every time when I think of my family, of course I miss them, but I don't feel sad because I know in the very inside we are strongly connected. At the end, I thank again all teachers and students who are present today at our celebration. How lucky we are that we could get to know each other and work and study in the same place. I wish you all the best for your life and future. Thank you very much for all your sharing. Congratulations again to the class of 2020. 2020 is a challenging year. No matter what, graduation is a huge achievement under any circumstance. We are so proud of you. We are so pleased to invite your classmates for performances today to celebrate your milestone and accomplishment. I would like to invite two year three students from the Department of Chinese Language and Literature, Wang Le Yao and Wang Chi Ning, for a recitation and Kun Chi Sing with Pita accompaniment. Lang Tao Sha, Zhuo 
帘外雨潺潺，春意阑珊，罗衣不耐五更寒。不知身是客，一晌贪欢，独自卧凭栏，无限江山。别时容。流水落花春去也，天上人间From the team of English department, let's welcome Carrie Chen of the 2020 graduate and her teacher, Dr. Jason Lee.
small town girl Living in a lonely world She took a midnight drink away from the music department for the next performance. We are going to have a voice solo from Sabrina Chung with Year 4 student Anson Chen's piano accompaniment, followed by Tan Xiu Yin's piano recital.
Next is the team from the Department of Translation, Interpreting and Intercultural Studies, the TIIS. Dr. Janice Pan, Associate Professor of the TIIS, is joining her students, Daisy Yip, Jesse Lum, Melody Ma, Stephanie Yearn, and Trista Tone to bring us a three-act play, Transverse, Transfeed, and Transform. When presenting you a play about translation and interpreting, it includes a number of different languages and delivered in the mode of both consecutive and simultaneous interpreting. Simultaneous interpreting refers to the mode of interpreting when the speaker and the interpreter speaks almost at the same time. Of course, we are playing it in a dramatized way. I hope you enjoy the performance. Act 1, Transverse, a free verse of food. Tayemo, Fanzi. Diyimu, Fanzi. Acto Uno, Transverso. Food is medicine. Avocado is good for skin. Food is fuel. Food is love. I miss grandma's egg noodles recipe. Food is life. Food is a four-letter word. Food is my passion. Trophy. Kana. Chivas. Gita. Das Eisen. Food is thy medicine. How many calories are in a chocolate chip cookie? Act 2. Transfeed a collage. Daimo Fan Yu. The Ogu Fan Yu. Atal Dos Trans Alimentacion. We are honored to introduce Transfeed Issue 2, the latest issue as its editors. 我們很榮幸能夠擔任第二期翻譯的編輯,同時為大家呈現最新一期的雜誌. Transfeed is a magazine that is prepared, published, and distributed by the Workshop. Our aim to delight the readers through the power of work. The first issue published last year has been a great success. Here, we continue the amazing work from the past. Our members from the 2017-18 academic year was another busy one for the translation program. 2017-2018年對翻譯學課程來講又係一個忙碌嘅年份. The main event of this year was the 6 IELTS conference. 本年度嘅主要活動有第六屆IELTS會議. We are here also for other proposals, and this will be the next thing to have turned out so many from more and the translation of Shampoo and Ego translation has been a challenge that all of us have had to adapt to suddenly. Dear People always say that translation is a lonely job. However, yes, we have to work as a team and get to translate the job together. I think we have to discuss about the word choice and the ordinary the consequences of the Be a translator, 
，第三幕翻譯人生，第三幕翻譯人生。Auto dress transformation. Translation brings food for thought. 翻譯帶給我們精神食糧。翻译带给我们精神食粮。La traducción remunera el pensamiento. Translator say forget me not. 翻译提醒我哋莫失莫忘。翻译提醒我们莫失莫忘。La traductora busca el conocimiento. Translation brings us joy. 翻译令到我们神采飞扬。翻译令到我们神采飞扬。La traducción es un gran entretenimiento. Translation is Otherwise, I'd have no idea what I'm speaking. You may know that the Department of Humanities and Creative Writing presents a pop music concert every year with the lyricist and scholar Dr. Chow Yu Fai, an alumni of his lyrics writing course. If you have missed it, Dr. Chow and his students are here today to share their song with us. Please enjoy. Hi everyone, we are students from the course Chinese Lyrics Writing and we are all the graduates of this year. And we would like to sing a song for all of you guys as we've uh, gone through such a tough and challenging year. 大家好，我哋係第九屆周耀輝中文歌詞班嘅同學，我哋亦都係今年嘅畢業生啦。咁首先要想同大家講聲辛苦曬大家。咁喺過去嘅呢一兩年咧，大家都已經承受咗太多太多，無論喺身體上定係心靈上都好，咁辛苦曬大家啦。今日咧，咁過咗今日，大家就要正式踏入社會大學啦。咁可能大家要開始為口奔馳。咁雖然、呃、我到而家都仲未揾到份正式工作啦。咁二零一九、二零一二零喺最壞嘅時代，我哋永遠有最美好、最年輕嘅年輕人。咁今日我哋就呢班年輕人就同我哋永遠最青春。最年輕嘅周耀輝老師一齊為大家送出送一首歌俾大家，歌名叫做《我們不睡》，希望大家遇日後遇到咩挫折都好，都可以永遠不睡，永遠萬歲，加油！咁我哋可以起歌。
为共醉，为你的心碎，心碎。那渴望散在天空，会不碎。如你未睡。陪我一步步做回人类，唯有谁背弃我们而去？来挽手一起走向故居，成败并没什么根据，就用每一刻换来根据。在世界的那里，愿请我们继续不衰，也是万岁。云荡过，春风吹，春风吹，吹散了负累。时代下问问你，几多粉碎，愿你不碎。晴雨过，天黑黑，天光光，分散在共聚。盛世的奇迹，如明星，半渴望散在天空，会不碎。Thank you， 泰雪人、盛俊宇、施惠仪、黄如宇、杨如平、岳国明、陈世朗、黄世岭、徐义南、林荣、杨杨卡基、黄成红 ，and Dr. Zhao。Dr. Zhao， please thank you， thank you for the wonderful music， and thank again for。All the performances from all our own talented performers. Now we are going to have the last item. Let's welcome our president, Professor Roland Ching, to share his words with us. Hello, hi. I can see everyone here. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Today is a great day. I started in the. Morning, walk around campus, seeing all the happy faces, parents, friends, and this is the fourth or the fifth sections I attended. Uh, brought me to tears. Uh, with the singing, uh, the pipa, the soprano, the piano, and uh, oh, I love the the translation drama. I could say that. And of course, Tokyo Fire, uh, wonderful lyric and song. Uh, we have great talents, uh, youth and talents. Uh, this has been a very difficult two years. Uh, last year, and this is uh, November, we were supposed to have our 19, no, 2019, 209, 219 commencement ceremony, uh, but with a social unrest. The campus was besieged, so we have to lock down for everyone's safety. And I promised students that we will have the 2019 commencement in 2020, face to face, uh, which is uh, very unexpected. The pandemic came out of sudden, so the 2019 and 2020 commencement graduation uh, were supposed to be held in November. Uh, and then uh, we even book the convention center, four or five days of convention center, planning to have both graduating class be, in con be at the convention center to have our graduation ceremony. Uh, and you know that we cannot, um, it, it did not happen. And we're still chasing for the convention center to refund our deposit and we pay for the money already. Uh, so last Sunday, uh, we have the commencement online. Uh, knowing that uh, parents and friends and students are not very excited about uh, commencement online, but nonetheless, with this particular situation in Hong Kong, uh, we have to uh, do that so that we can formally confer degree students to graduate. And, uh, and we're lucky that all the faculty and school are having this event having students and parents and friends come onto campus to meet face-to-face -face or mask-to-mask. 
so that we can have some kind of small scale celebration and photo taking. Uh, but please be mindful that today we have 45 cases in Hong Kong. Uh, so the pandemic is uh, coming back, uh, they call it the fourth wave. So no matter what you do, please don't take your mask off and please wash your hand. Uh, and uh, remind your parents and friends uh, in photo section, uh, be very careful. Health is most important in your life and in everyone's life, so please be mindful. And I'm very happy that uh, to be on stage meeting uh, some of you. And I, I met a lot of students uh, in the courtyard and in Nature Queen Daito and in various sections and taking photographs with them and see the happy faces. Uh, so this, uh, this is very moving uh, for me. Uh, so I want to thank the Dean and the colleagues uh, to make this happen. And uh, the performance uh, actually very moved me. Uh, our youngster, our young, uh, young students, some graduate are full of talents. Uh, your future is in front of us. Uh, hope is in front of us. Don't let these uh, politicians and leaders uh, and uh, depress you. Uh, they'll be gone eventually and you'll be the future. So again, congratulations. Again, congratulate and thanks all the teachers and the staff to make this happen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Ching. Choose life, choose career, choose a big television, choose Hong Kong Baptist University, choose Faculty of Arts, and choose your courage. Dear class of 2020, Thank you for joining us today. We hope you have enjoyed your time with us over the four years, over the 90 minutes. Congratulations and good luck, and remember to wash your hands.